Hey, I think we're live. We're live, and David's <laughs> sitting on the dog. <laughs> hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, it's a little different going back to school and work tomorrow. Um, you're the only one leaving the house. <laughs> Gracie's um, school, Grace has been in a residential high school, and she came home Friday. Um, we found out Wednesday night that her um, school was closing, and we had to get her on Friday. So that kind of put everything in a little bit of a... Um, not panic, but it was a little different. It upset the apple cart a little bit, just like having to go get her out pack and everything. So that was a little bit of stuff. And then Jonathan, um, the schools here are closed for two weeks. Um, the governor closed all the schools in North Carolina for two weeks starting Monday. So Jonathan and Grace will be home with me. I'll be working from home <laughs> like usual with two kids underfoot. And David has um, will be at the office. So we expect his office will be making probably a similar maybe decisions saying uh, we have to see Maybe don't know, know. Uh, but anyway it's a big week the dogs are going to get grooming <laughs> finally <laughs> they need it so badly I was like don't let banjo on camera he looks so bad but anyway so they're, go they're going and David is getting a skin check this is your first skin check since surgery that's right for the melanoma so that's are you I can't wait oh it's gonna be fun yeah yeah <laughs> you get to go you get to Disrobe, you get to get inspected. And There's this leave. disrobe. I'm like, you get naked. <laughs> <laughs> get inspected. Let's not even, let's talk about chocolate on that note. Hey, Mary, I see Mary Sledgen. Um, oh, hey, Mary. I can't see the other names. We've got to get the screen that uh, Jack was on. So, you guys, we talk a lot in our low carb groups. People will have chocolate, like Lily's chocolate. And David's a fan of this one. Show him that one. Lily salted caramel. That's the salted milk caramel. chocolate. I think but it's super, super sweet. This one's not bad too. Just plain milk chocolate. He really likes the milk chocolate, and that's what I generally tend to cook with. If I'm making something for him, I'll use in the kids because mm -hmm. David prefers the milk chocolate. Well, let's take a look at the ingredients. <laughs> David, let's has take readers. a look. <laughs> but let's take a look at the ingredients. So, oh, what happened with this? By the way, this is the milk chocolate. Show them the caramel. What happened with this was somebody in my group said, um, hey, you know, they were asking me about a chocolate that you can get at Walmart called Bake Believe. And I said, oh, don't use that because it has inulin in it. And they said, well, Lily's has inulin. And I was like, does it really? So I wanted to take a look. So this one says it's unsweetened cocoa. We're good on that. Cocoa butter, check, love cocoa butter. Erythritol, well, that's a sweetener we use quite a bit. And then it says inulin. Inulin, like it's not really friendly to most people blood, people's blood glucose. And let me be careful with that because Jonathan could probably eat these and be fine. Jonathan's our low carb kid. He doesn't have any underlying health issues really. Although he did tell me something interesting. Don't let me forget to, to tell you what Jonathan told me. It's really cool. Are you going to make me wait? I'm going to make you wait. Make everybody wait. Um, just teasing, yeah. <laughs> what did he say? But okay, wait, I have really to be more careful. If someone's diabetic, then inulin really can be more of a problem. So does inulin impact your blood glucose? We don't know. It's a question mark. It could be different. And it also could depend on what you're eating with it and how much you eat. But inulin's something that generally I would avoid. And then dextrin, dextrin, a form of sugar. Whole milk powder, milk fat organic soy less of them and you know because of my hypothyroidism i tend to avoid soy but the soy less of them is an emulsifier and it's a very small amount so don't worry too much you know not drinking it by the gallon fulls and to be honest i don't really use the lilies for me personally just like eating a square of chocolate i tend to use it in recipes because people like milk chocolate now mm -hmm. when you're you don't do recipes you're how do you use chocolate <laughs> I get an IV and inject it <laughs> intravenously. Not quite right? that bad, but he tends to snack on it. He'll grab I a do. square. I come home after supper. You need some chocolate to, um, well, just to end supper. Yeah, because what I cook isn't a good enough. <laughs> nighttime snack and. <laughs> yeah, and a nighttime snack and. And yeah, maybe and, you need some and, in the morning with your cup of coffee. Oh, I didn't know about that little habit. <laughs> Um, but so when you look at the carbs, so those are the ingredients. Let's take a look. Well, wait, how do they compare? What's they're exactly yours? the same. Exactly well, the same. I mean, yeah. <laughs> get his eyes. Are they exactly the same? I believe they are, except this, this does have sea salt in it. That has sea salt. Sea salt's a good thing. Mm. 
Okay, so this one has a serving is 40 grams, and pay attention to this because we're going to compare more chocolate. 40 grams. This whole Which thing. Which half or more? Well, this whole thing is 85, so a little less than half. Is that what yours is? Mine's. See, mm -hmm. this is the better Stop chocolate. Shaky, I can't read it. This is 80 grams. Wow, there's only 80 grams in that bar, and there's 85 in this bar. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So tell me, what's the serving size? 40? It's half, 40, yep. Okay, and how many calories is in your in that one? 170. 170 Ooh, in this but one. calories from fat, 120. How many fat grams? 13. Ah, 14 in this one. And tell me the total carbs. Total carbs is um, 22. 22. Now, so, do you see the erythritol down there? Six. Six. So 22 minus six is... 22 minus 6, are you asking Yes. Again? Wasn't that 14, 15, 16? It's not a trick question. 16. 16. So we don't subtract fiber. Erythritol is one of those that generally it's safe to, <clears throat> excuse me, generally it's safe to subtract the sugar alcohols with erythritol. Not all sugar alcohols are created equally, but generally you can subtract the sugar alcohols. So that would be 16 carbs in a half bar. Wow. So you really, probably, if you're going to try and stay under seven, what do you think about that, honey? I guess I'd have to go carnivore. <laughs> so let's take a look at this one. This is this 22 carbs, and it has seven grams of erythritol. Not much better. 15 total carbs in this whole thing. We're not subtracting the fiber. And half of it. And ha I'm sorry, and half of it. Um, well, a little less than half in this one. But anyway, so that's 15 total carbs. So. Yeah, you know, maybe even a quarter is probably getting there for me. Maybe one little square, but I do tend to generally avoid these. Well, but they're low carb, right? They're sugar free. People tend to think that they're okay. Well, let's compare this to other chocolate, to chocolate actually that would have sugar in it. So I've got three here. I've got, or actually four, sorry, four. I can't count, neither of us can count. I've got 85% cocoa here. This is Lent. I've got the 86% cocoa here. Now, this is what Grace likes. So, if she's going to snack on chocolate, Grace will grab a square of this, either the 85 or the 86. So, let's see how it compares because this is not sugar-free. So, the ingredients in this one, I've got chocolate, cocoa powder, cocoa butter, so far so good, Demira sugar, whatever that is, it's still sugar, bourbon vanilla beans. So, except for the sugar, the ingredients seem pretty good. What about over there in the... And it's the, uh, roughly the same. Roughly Bit of the sweet same. chocolate, which is unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, sugar, milk fat, soy lecithin. 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 Ah, there's no soy lecithin in the lens. Vanilla but there is and natural flavor. Huh. Uh, with the natural flavors, natural flavor can mean a lot of any things. So let's compare. Um, so 30 grams is a serving for this. So 30 grams, which is smaller, right? Because this was 40 grams. So 30 <clears throat> grams versus 40 in terms of serving size. 45 grams here. 45? You get bigger grams, more grams. But I think the carbs are going to be greater on well, this. Hang on a second. 14 grams of fat. What you got in the fat? 25 grams 25 of fat. grams of fat. No wonder yellow jelly's so good. <laughs> um, my carbs in this, again, I'm talking 30 grams. You're talking 45? Carbs? No, no, no. Serving. So, so remember, serving size matters. You've only got 30 grams here. You've got 45. So mm -hmm. you've got a third as much, right? Yes. Or half, of, yeah. Yeah, there are two servings in this bar. What, three Three years? in this bar. And they're both three and a half ounces? Uh, 3.17, so ah, this is smaller. smaller. Okay, so I've got 14 grams, but how many carbs do you have over there? 15. 15 for 45 grams. Mm -hmm. And I've got 11 grams of carbs for 30 grams. So who wins? Um, for serving size. It's serving. about the same, right? 11 grams for 30, and you've got... 15 for 45. It's all about yeah, the same. Yeah, it is about the same. It's, it's all about the same. Yeah. This is a little bit higher carb, technically a half carb or so. A smidgen, um, but, but it's But for 30 not. grams, that's a lot. I mean, think about that. Well, that's a third of this, so... Half of this. Half mm. of that. <laughs> not too shy. Yeah. But do you like 85% dark cocoa? Um, the answer is no. I do not like 85, 86%, 92%, no. David's more of a milk chocolate guy. And so one of the reasons I don't use this in recipes, unless I want it to be dark chocolate, 
is because of the dark chocolate. He doesn't prefer the flavor. So for Christy, because now I know with the inulin, um, honestly, I'm probably gonna, if I'm gonna have a, a square of chocolate, or if I was making something for me, I would probably use this. But you think this is bitter? It's not my favorite, but. I want to work on it. You can. <laughs> it's actually pretty good in muffins. Yeah, I have put it in muffins mm -hmm. or um, uh, uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream. You like it that way. If it has other sweet, I think it's just a little bitter for him. And I think the other thing that you can do with this, you can melt it down. You have to be careful because it will seize and add some cream. I have done that mm -hmm. if I'm using in recipes to try to make it more milk chocolate. And I've successfully used, um, there's a heavy cream powder. Um, Hooser Farms makes it and so does Honeyville, I think. And that's pretty good ingredients. And I've used some of that milk powder, full fat, or, I'm sorry, heavy cream powder. It's heavy cream powder oh. to make it more milk chocolate. I've done that in the chocolate sauce I make. I've used that if I've only had dark chocolate or unsweetened. So this is 86% cacao, 85% and 86% cacao, uh, or cocoa, <laughs> cacao, cocoa, cocoa. Um, I can't read you reading. Hey, Mandy, what's Mandy saying? I just learned something about chocolate today. I don't usually have bars on hand, but I will use cocoa powder. Yeah. But then it went away. It depends on the cocoa powder. Yeah, it depends because cocoa powder doesn't work in all recipes. Sometimes you need the texture of the bars. We can talk about that. But this is 90%, so this is even darker chocolate, and this is 95%. This is what I tend to grab a square of. So let's look at the ingredients on these guys. Um, it's both lint, but this one you have to turn it sideways to read the ingredients. I don't What lint? What are you thinking? What's up with that? So chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, processed with alkali and sugar. Sugar is the last ingredient. That's pretty cool. This one says chocolate, cocoa butter, cocoa powder, processed with alkali, sugar, and bourbon vanilla beans. So this one doesn't have bourbon vanilla beans, huh? But let's compare 90% chocolate and 95% chocolate. And this is going to be pretty dark. Um, I would not have liked this when I first started doing low carb or keto. I love it now. I love the bitter. And it's so dark that you only have a tiny, tiny bit. Like you, this is hard to overeat. You've ever tried it? No. You can put a little bit of peanut butter on it too. I like peanut butter. <laughs> he likes well, peanut butter. Okay. So we compare here the fat grams, 18 to 16, okay? Um, we're not so worried about that. The carbs, let's get to the, the important thing. So let's compare the serving size. This serving is 32 grams. This serving is 30 grams. It's all lint. Like, I'd still, lint, what are you doing, people? Consistency, are you, one left hand's not talking to the right hand, but lint, I'm Apparently. writing them a letter. What do you do? What do you do? Um, so eight grams of carbs and 32 grams serving, nine carbs, nine grams of carbs and a 30 gram serving. So which is your better deal, Pickle? Um, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was thinking about the left hand and the right hand talking to each other. So it looks like this is like slightly lower in carbs. Like it's, a, you maybe say one carb using and a little bit bigger serving, two gram larger serving. Um, and by the way, for um, those of you going, what's a gram? 32 grams is about two tablespoons, and it's actually uh, four pieces. When you've got the little squares, it's four pieces. There are supposed to be two and a half servings here and three and a half servings here. And the bars are not the same. This is 2.8 ounces, and this is 3.5. Again, Lent, what are you thinking? So these are close. Let's see what we did with the 85%. It's 11 carbs for 30 grams versus eight carbs. So you really are saving three carbs per serving if you're doing the darker chocolate. And then with the, the this one, now this is 45, it's 15 grams and this is eight. So again, you're a fewer carbs with the dark, with the 95%. And you can put your own sweetener with it if it's not sweet enough for you. And back to the lilies, remember yeah. a serving of lilies is 40 grams. <laughs> so it's a little more, 32 versus 40. This one is gonna give me eight total carbs per serving. I can have a little more. And this one's gonna give me, with the erythritol subtracted, 15. Eight versus 15. And honestly, with the inulin and the dextrin, sorry, lilies, I loved you. I talked about you a lot, but I think I'm gonna have to 
have an intervention. <laughs> um, I would probably would still use lilies, like in recipes for the kids. I've been making these Milanos, or we've been calling them, we can't decide what to call them, Folanos, or somebody suggested Solanas, like for Sullivan, uh, Mama Lanas, <laughs> which I thought was a cute name. Um, but anyway, they're, they're like, uh, somebody said Sullivan Farms. Um, oh, I like Pepper Sullivan Farm Malama, Malama, yeah. Sullivan Mama Farms Lama, Mama Lamas. Yeah, Sullivan Farms Mama Lama Sullivan Farms remembers. <laughs> but anyway, I've been trying, I've been making those for the kids. It's coming up in the kids' book and growing up keto. And I've been making those for photos. And the kids complained that there were not enough. In fact, Jonathan today wanted to make, to make a double batch. I didn't get that done. But I, in fact, tonight, Mom, when are you going to make them? And I don't have, I have to use different pans to make them. And he's actually got his ruler and measured the area of the pan so that they would know which cookie was bigger. So that when he and Grace split them up, you know, he, now he thinks he can get more if he eats the round ones versus the long ones. Yeah, kids. I didn't get any, so. David didn't get any. But anyway, so you make your choice. Which one is best? Obviously, taste is a part of it right but the darker the chocolate in general usually the carbs are going to be a bit lower and to be quite honest it's really hard to find a commercial chocolate that is truly sugar-free that has a safe sweetener that you're going to enjoy now there is a brand that was made out of Asheville North Carolina that had stevia was it sinless sinless thank you sinless I found those at Whole Foods and they're, they're tasty mm -hmm. don't know the car calendars. those they have all kinds of flavors um, and there was my favorite Coco Polo I loved, but I can't find it anywhere local now. And my very, very favorite is Cavalier chocolate that is made with or sweetened with stevia, not maltitol and sorbitol. Don't get anything with maltitol or sorbitol. It's really bad juju. Um, but David actually ordered me some from Switzerland, some of the Cavalier one year. It was Germany, wasn't it? Germany, Belgium, somewhere, wherever they made those. He ordered some for me and they were fantastic. And then my friend Connor, she actually went to England and found them there and she brought them back to Texas and shipped them to me in North Carolina. Now that's a friend for you to bring the chocolate back and share it with you. But I want to tell you about Jonathan. Let's get back to that. Bye bye, Lily. Are you telling him bye? I probably have to after or looking at the labels. <laughs> well, maybe I'll forget the labels before long. Yeah, I am getting up in age. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to tell you about Jonathan. So I was working out on some um, some recipes, and Jonathan came into my home office because I already worked from home before any COVID-19. And Jonathan came in the office. He said, Mom, I've noticed something. And he said, I have more energy doing keto. I thought that was really interesting. Uh, yes, you told me about that. Yeah, because I didn't even ask him. He came mm. in the room, and he said... You know, before keto, I would have these times where I'd get tired, like even just like going up the stairs sometimes, I'd feel heavy or tired. And he said, I'd really, I'd get hungry. And he said, now I don't get hungry and my energy's more even through the day. And, you know, people yeah. talk about that on social media. Like we hear about it in low carb groups and my group. People talk mm -hmm. about that sustained energy athletes will talk about, you know, marathon runners, how they used to have to fuel up or get a banana or eat during goo during the race. And there's Jonathan saying, he had no idea, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't think he was influenced having read it yeah. anywhere, but he said, Mom, my energy's more sustained. And he and I had a little chat about why that was, that he was burning fat for fuel. And this kid, I do worry about him, like the mom, I've got the Italian mama coming out. I do worry about him not eating enough because there are mornings where he might eat two or three pieces of bacon and nothing else. Mm -hmm. I mean, he goes to school with nothing. And I'm like, you can't go hungry, but he can't. And it stresses me a little bit, and he, he laughs about it. But he's like, Mom, I'm not hungry. And then I'll bring him home. I pick him up at lunch, and he'll come home. And he's like, I'd be, you know, like, and he's fine. He's like, yeah, maybe mm -hmm. I'll have. And he'll eat just a little something sometimes. Now, and then at dinner, he'll go through two steaks or something, and he'll decimate um, fajitas. <laughs> fajitas for two is one serving. That little boy will Jonathan. go through two steaks. And every meal. I mean, he will out eat David some golly. meals, some dinner. So he will just really fuel up at dinner. So no wonder he's hungry yeah. in the morning because he's eating half a horse or half he, a cow. He has gone out and jumped on the trampoline. He's been riding bicycles around the neighborhood. He was probably riding bicycles for an hour and a half the other day. Yeah, and which remember, is different than what he usually does. Well, and that's what he talked about. I remember, Jonathan didn't get low carb until like August of 2019. Um, so Grace, you know, went in 2013 with us. 
not long after we did. Mm -hmm. But for Jonathan, this is still relatively new. But he said, Mom, I've got more energy. And he's like, well, I don't know if I have more energy, but like I want to ride my bike. I want to be out. I want to do things. I want to go to the trampoline. So that was just an interesting observation mm -hmm. on his part that he noticed and came to me and shared. I thought that was pretty cool that he figured that out. So um, time to wrap up. I think you, I'm looking at my list Low of stuff. Denver. Low Carb Denver. I don't know if you guys got to see any of the, you know, we did, couldn't go uh, because of the coronavirus, but I don't know if you guys got to see any of the presentations. I am hoping to watch them. That's my plan with the kiddos home. Um, I'm going to make them watch them with me, or maybe some of them. Oh, Maybe boy. some of them. Should not tell them. I'm going to work, right? Yeah, but you'll be home later in the week. <laughs> but there were some fantastic ones. I missed Dr. Shear, Brett Shear with Diet Doctor, um, did a fantastic session about cardiovascular risk. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Cholesterol is a small part of it. But he, so and Dr. Shear is a cardiologist, so I think he should know. But he talked about markers of cardiovascular risk. So I think that one will be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And having worked with Brett uh, for a year now, um, he's a pretty smart cookie. Um, well, the agenda nice that they guy. put together at Low Carb Denver is really a good agenda. They've got a lot of good speakers Fantastic with some speakers. amazing topics. Gary Taubes was speaking there. Um, there were a couple I've heard about already um, that, I, that I missed. The schedule got messed up, and the speakers weren't on when they were supposed to, so I missed a couple on Friday. And then um, Saturday we were doing food photos, so I missed those. But anyway, I will holler at you. I'll give you guys a shout out to join me. If you are a Diet Doctor member, it's free. If you're not a Diet Doctor member, you can join 30-day free trial. I'll, the links are here on Simply Keto. You can look through my, scroll through my feed. You can join for free and see the videos, 30-day free trial. But um, if you're not, I don't know if you can still do it or not. Um, they were selling the live streams. It was like $49 package, I think, through Low Carb Denver. So Dr. Gerber may still have that available. Um, go and you can check it on the page. It's $49. If you'd rather do that, you can do that instead. Uh, but anyway, I'm hoping to watch some of them and I'll post some things that I've learned hopefully along the way. I'm trying to think, there were other speakers. Oh, Dr. I can't say his name. Agastatin, the, uh, the South Beach diet doctor, was on there. And um, he actually says South Beach is low carb and low fat. And I did it for two whole weeks and was starving the entire time because what's your body using for fuel, right? If it's low carb and low fat, it's protein, which is really hard, for, harder for the body to metabolize. So anyway, um, he now is doing low carb South Beach. So he was there speaking. I actually had planned to do a Facebook Live with him and of course had to cancel that. Um, so I was sad about that. But anyway, so I'm interested in going back and watching what he had to say um, say on that one so be really and of course dr Einfeld, andrea seinfeld uh, was speaking to all of that he couldn't they, he couldn't be there because my doctor didn't go but that is pre-recorded so you can watch that too so lots of really really great speakers if you and, and so if you're home if you're not working if you're working shut down or you're teleworking you can maybe watch some of those videos um it's a really really great information from from experts um and people actually got cme's continuing medical education units for that too Cousin Alan's watching. Alan's, hey Alan, hey Cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you too real quick, I do have a little bit of a surprise. Hopefully, hopefully for next week we'll do another recipe. We did one last week, everybody loved that. Um, to do it, I had to order tools. Oh. You know when you do a, a project at the house, you have to go to Lowe's and have get to tools. go to Lowe's. Well, I had to get tools. So at Amazon, I have the little burner, the induction burner. And so um, we got to, yeah, so we're getting hearts on that one. People like that idea. So I'll have the induction burner and I will have to make something. Woohoo! Yeah, I don't know what we'll make quite yet, but we'll make something. Caramel. Caramel. Oh, the caramel. We can finally share the caramel recipe. Um, yeah, to all the people. The caramel, look, the hearts. I'm getting hearts on the caramel recipe. David suggested it, so he should get some credit for that one. But anyway, so yeah, maybe we can do caramel. That would be a fun thing. And I think I was joking today, and I said with the coronavirus, everybody being um, self-isolating, it's time to make the rum cake recipe public. We made a delicious rum cake at Christmas time. So I'm like, hey, we should like share that recipe. People are going to need this after all this quarantine time at home. So anyway, we'll see you guys next Sunday, 8 o'clock. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Chocolate. <laughs> Read the labels.